fuzzy key means is exactly the same uh, algorithm but the only thing is instead of uh, assigning a point to exclusively exclusively to only one cluster it can have some sort of fuzziness or overlap between two clusters or uh, more than two clusters for that matter or in number of clusters if a point is treated to be a little bit more softer in overlapping or in in uh, Say for example, this is how it does. Let's say uh, we have okay. Let's assume uh, this is a cluster. So if you would have used k means, so if you notice, uh, okay, let me just reduce the size. So if you notice, there could be this could be one cluster, right? Potentially, and this could be one cluster. Technically, if you see, there is these two points, they are uh, relatively more or less closer to both of these clusters. So if you would have used pure k means, this would have either done it this way, or it would have done it this way. So technically, these two points would have been uh, overlapping with both of these things. So let's say this is the centroid. So the way how the k-means works is based on the centroid and the distance measure techniques. So if you see the distance between this and this, more or less they would be they would be relatively more or less same. So let's say this is the centroid, right? And if you see the distance between this and distance between this, more or less it's exactly the same thing what we have got. So in this case, uh, just because we have used a k-means algorithm, it uses the fraction uh, of uh, difference and it decides on which uh, cluster it should uh, decide or on which cluster it should go or belong to. But technically, if you see, uh, this is right, but we may have to group some of these items in an overlapping model. Instead of that, we use uh, something called uh, fuzzy k-means. So what happens is in fuzzy k-means, so we go ahead and assign a cluster like this. And wherever we had some conflicts with other cluster, we may also assign something like this. In this case, so this two points belongs to these two things, but this is more of an exclusive cluster. This is more of an exclusive cluster. This is more of a shared uh, point between these two clusters. Okay. If you see, uh, there is not a lot of difference in the map reduced flow. So you still need a vector data set. Uh, in this case, we have used return frequency or the weights, PF, IDF. And, uh, we could have used either random seed generator or the initial canopy cluster. So based on what is our choice, we could have used either one of them. And we would, re we would require a distance measure. So we could have uh, tried to use any of these things squared or Euclidean distance measures. So, and then the conver convergence threshold and the x value. So the only thing what you have uh, seen is the normalization or the fuzziness factor with wa uh, value of minus m we said 2, right? So this is the value which will uh, create a normalization if a point is say between uh, <coughs> two clusters falls into this fuzziness or falls into this normalization overlap, it will consider that for fuzzy point, otherwise it will treat that as a cluster. So this is the value which is only addition to it. So apart from that, everything remains same. 